going to one of the great organizations of baseball, one of the great pitching coaches, Dave Rigetti. Dick Kidrow is there, one of the great pitching gurus in the game, future Hall of Fame manager, one of the great managers of our time, Bruce Bochy. And I look at the signing of Cueto and the signing of Samarja. It's the Giants' answer to what the Diamondbacks did with Frankie and Shelby. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The San Francisco Giants have once again dipped into free agency to bolster their rotation, coming to terms with eight-year veteran Johnny Cueto on a six-year, $130 million contract. The right-hander, who turns 30 in February, earned a World Series ring with the Royals this past season, following a mid-season trade from the Reds. Runner-up to the 2014 NL Cy Young Award joins fellow free agent signee Jeff Samarja and ace Madison Baumgartner to potentially give the Giants one of the game's most formidable top threes. I'm sure he's looking forward to pitching at at t Park, pitching his home games there at least. Uh, he has, does have a 1.69 ERA there in three career starts. That combined with the money probably made it a, an attractive fit for him. I did what I thought was the right thing to do under the governing documents in order to protect the integrity of the game. I can't worry about what some people think about the decision. Uh, my responsibility is to protect the game and I did what I thought was necessary to do that. 26 years after it was first imposed by then Commissioner Bart Giamatti, the lifetime ban of Pete Rose was upheld on Monday by current Commissioner Rob Manfred, denying the all-time hit king reinstatement into the game. Though Manfred's decision had no bearing on Rose's Hall of Fame candidacy, the National Baseball Hall of Fame later released a statement which reiterates that Rose remains ineligible for consideration. Mr. Manfred drew a line. Look, I'm only responsible for this. Should he work in baseball? He should not. However, I do not think that the Hall of Fame debate is this debate. That should be in a separate form. You would go to an expansion era committee or a veterans committee. And I think based on what you hear from those guys, players, uh, they don't believe he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame either. Manfred has reaffirmed that going forward. No matter what any ball player might think about, no matter what he thinks he can get away with, he knows that gambling is completely off limits. It's a good thing that the commissioner finally has given Pete an answer. Uh, uh, I know it's not the answer that Pete wanted. Um, we all have an opinion on why the answer came the way it did, but I think it's good that the commissioner's office finally acted on Pete's behalf and he can get along with his life now. Very excited to be a Houston Astro for one. I mean, I'm going to do the best I can to take this team to the next level any way I can. I'm only here to be a great teammate right now. I just want to help these guys um, hopefully set their goals to the next level. Though the club stopped short of anointing him their new closer, the Astros nonetheless introduced Ken Giles at a press conference on Monday. He was acquired in a trade with the Phillies for a sizable package, which included former top overall draft pick Mark Appel and promising young arms Vincent Velasquez and Brett Overholzer. The 25-year-old Giles posted a 1.80 ERA in 69 appearances last season, including 15 saves, while averaging over 11 Ks per nine innings. The right-hander routinely throws in the upper 90s, and the club believes he could fill the missing piece of the puzzle for the Astros' bullpen. Steve Ciszek was introduced by the Mariners via conference call on Monday. The club announced their intentions to make the 29-year-old their closer thus allowing them to place newly acquired Joaquin Benoit in his customary setup role. Zizek lost his closer's job with the Marlins early in the 2015 campaign before he was dealt to the Cardinals. But after he was non-tendered by the Redbirds, the Mariners jumped at the chance to acquire the right-hander, who converted 73 of 79 save opportunities between 2013 and 2014. I like to be the guy that, you know, has all the pressure on him that the rest of the team relies on to, you know, finish the game out. Um, I embrace that with Miami House. Um, you know, hoping I get the opportunity to do that again and, and soon. So when I heard that they were interested in me being a closer, I was all in. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.